These particular instructions are for a 1987 through 1989 Dodge or Mitsubishi. If you have purchased the optional cab reinforcement kit, refer to your instructions and install it before proceeding further. No matter how good you are and how many tops you have installed, please take the time to read completely through your instructions to familiarize yourself with this conversion and get a good idea of how the install proceeds. Now, remove all molding from the door frame areas, seats, and interior trim. Refer to your instructions and set your compass for your particular installation. Place compass with one end on the glass and draw towards you, stopping at your corner windshield molding. Referring to your instructions for reference points, draw and complete a line down through the rain gutter and your inner door frame. Drill three or four holes through your roof to establish your inner cut line. Next, lay down a strip of duct tape on both sides of your cut line to protect the paint during your cutting procedure. Then measuring from your top rain gutter, refer to your instructions and indicate your rear roof cut line. Using a straight edge, draw a line across the back of your cab, connecting your side cut with your rear cut. Apply masking tape or duct tape to both sides of your cut line to protect paint. Mark your front door frame, continuing your line from your roof. Make sure your cut angle is 90 degrees in relationship to the top of the roof. Make sure you use safety goggles and begin the cut with your die grinder. Move slow not penetrating on your first cut. Make two or three passes, then continue cut on down through your door frame. Make sure you keep the same angle. Make your rear cut, which is the same height as your rear cab wall cut. After completing your cut, remove your door frame and set aside for future reinstallation. The following scenes of this video will introduce Radical Top's new secret weapon. The secret weapon eliminates removal of the plastic side trim and interior trim package. It eliminates the removal of the extra metal in trimming your top and eliminates the need to mark your rear cab and side cab wall and eliminates crooked cut lines and shortens your installation procedure for up to three to four hours.
You do not have access to a secret weapon through Radical's participating dealers. Refer to your instruction manual for using the standard procedure of cutting the top off with a die grinder. Note that the thickness of the blade eliminates the need to trim out extra material. This saves you three to four hours. Okay, give me a mean look there, Rodney. Hold it. Okay. Go for it. Notice we are cutting through the side pillar post trim, which again saves time, being that it does not have to be removed for the install. Accurate cutting is real easy with this method. Rodney just eats up the competition, doesn't he? That's what happens when you give them a box of wet tops for breakfast. Here we're removing the top and setting it in a cradle that facilitates uh, working on the top. Notice how straight and smooth the front cut line and the radius is. This is prior to the final trim. Here we are trimming off the slight amount of excess, preparing it to receive the plastic ABS parts. At this point, we're marking a half inch back on the upper window frame, cutting it back to clear the male bow. This is the initial rough cut. We'll trim it up further when we install the plastic cap. Here we are doing the final trim up, eliminating the high spots on the initial cut line. This is a very important cut and must be done at a 90 degrees in relationship to the top roof skin. Any protruding metal will interfere with the proper mating of the male and female bows. Use a block of wood or a flat object to check your progress. Here we are slotting the window rain gutter approximately a half inch to facilitate the install of the male bow. Here we are doing a fit check of the male bow prior to the bonding and fitting the roof on procedure. This is the 1990s. We don't cut tops off the way it was done in 1979. Nor do we use old fashioned outdated parts. Get with it and join the rat race.
Make certain the ends of the male bow are properly seated into the rain gutter area. Here we are roughing the surface to promote good adhesion of the bonding material. Scrape the inside area of the ABS cap with a hacksaw blade to promote good bonding. Do a fit check prior to final bonding of the part. Install the pinch molding just under the ABS cap. Cut to fit. Cut slightly long, working into position. Next, mix bonding agent and apply liberally to inside of cover. Place cap into position. Making sure it is level and apply a weight, a heavy block or piece of metal until cap has kicked off. Next, grab rear ABS wall cover. Cut and fit into position. Here we are using a hacksaw blade to trim off the final uh, little bit to make a tight compression fit. At this point we are leveling the window end cap prior to installing the ABS cap. Do not use epoxy on this cap. Use silicone only. Make sure it stays level in relation to the pillar cap. Here we are notching the ABS window end cap to receive the window. Make sure you do not notch any larger than necessary. We start our cut with the die grinder and we will put the finishing touches on the slot with a round rat tail file. Check the window to make sure it tracks up all the way properly. Here we are trimming an extra 3 16 to a quarter inch off the leading roof edge. This is to allow the thickness of the ABS parts to fit. We are making final trim touches to the rear lower cab wall. Here we are gutting out the inside of the ends to receive the back side of the female cap. Here we are doing a fit check, check of the female bow, noting the part that goes into the depression. It should be clear of any obstructions.
Here we are trimming the outer lip of the window frames off to allow the window to open and close. A bandsaw works terrific for this. A die grinder can be used, but it is much slower. We're fitting it into position on the roof, making the final attachment. Attach original pinch molding at this time. Trim the ends off flush with the top. Drill through and attach window frame permanently to the roof. Fit top to truck to make sure that you have cleared off enough metal to allow the ABS parts to properly fit. Make any minor trim corrections to the leading edge of the roof at this time. Install roof latches using single nut and bolt. Next, do a preliminary fit check of the female part. When you are satisfied with the fit of the female bow, mate roof to the truck. Next, install the wood blocks and space evenly between the upper roof skin and the female bow part. This causes a compression seal, pulling the roof and the female bow close together. Next, remove the roof and fit up the headliner and cut and trim to fit. Next, install front portion of headliner at front windshield and install visors and trim. Install front latch clips and adjust and fit. Next, put tape down adjacent to the male bow. Remove male bow and rough surface to promote a good surface to adhere to. Apply epoxy rapidly following ins instructions. Put epoxy inside the male bow using liberally. And finally, mate male bow to the roof. Make sure the ends are seated and are fitting in properly. Okay. When satisfied, have two assistants bring the roof up and fit into position. Immediately attach all four latches, upper and lower, and lock roof into position. Okay, in Leave in this position for ample time to cure according to the instructions on the adhesive. Push down and squeeze out excessive adhesive, if any. Then strip the masking tape off, pulling the excess, excessive adhesive off with it. Use a scraping tool at this point to clean off excess bonding material.
here we are using a screwdriver but you will find a knife blade will work just as well and probably even better next we are laying down a strip of masking tape immediately adjacent to the ABS male bow and all of the plastic parts on the truck Now we are applying black silicone to the crevice to create and promote a clean, crisp seal area when the tape is removed. Remove tape immediately, pulling back and away from the part to create a crisp edge. Wipe off excess silicone. Next, install four panhead screws, one at each end of the male and female bows on both sides of the truck. This will keep the ends of the bows in proper position. Next, we will be installing the aluminum window frames supplied with your kit. Starting at the top, Drill a hole with a 1 8 inch drill bit through the original window frame and using a 1 8 rivet supplied, rivet into position. Next, using clamps, draw in the bottom portion to fit the curvature of the roof. And rivet in position as necessary. Be sure to shim and make adjustments for your particular fit. Roll the window up and check the positioning before permanently attaching. Use a screwdriver to push in the bottom while installing the rivet. And finally install window seals. Use super glue or a hot glue gun to close in the openings at each end of your window seals. This will allow the window to properly roll up. Next, make final trim adjustments to the upper window frame and install end cap. It may be necessary to trim a little bit extra off of the inside as shown. Now trim the, your window end caps to allow the window to roll up in two. Use a rat tail file to finish off. When you are satisfied with your fit, use black silicone, only silicone, to bond the cap to the part. Next, we will be installing foam at the back side of your window frame to allow the window frame to close against the body and form a compression and water seal. The trim is, the, is a very important part of this procedure. How you trim your vehicle will determine the quality of your installation.